Several new developments today in the Flint water crisis. A rally in Lansing calling for the recall of Governor Snyder. And yet another lawsuit has been filed. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester joins us now. And Hank, there seems to be no end in sight to this crisis. Developments every single day. This time we're talking about a lawsuit. A lawsuit filed by a mother and father on behalf of their young daughter. A daughter, they say, has already experienced a lot of changes. She just seems to have high anxiety. Like she can never calm down. Holding his two year old daughter, Sophia, Luke Wade explains the big changes he has noticed in his little girl. She's very irritable, and um, it seems like she's uh, suffering from like a, uh, a stress. Wade and his wife filing suit against the city, the governor the emergency manager, the DEQ, and other leaders. They claim drinking the water severely affected Sophia's health. She's experiencing learning issues, weight loss, and her growth appears to be dramatically affected. She was tested at around six months old and not to have elevated levels. And then after uh, the switch in, uh, in July of 2014, her levels were extremely elevated. The family, like many in Flint, first started drinking water from the Flint River after the switch. They say they were reassured over and over again that the water was fine. They, like many, had concerns about the color and the taste, but never could have guessed the water they relied on may have actually been poisoning the entire family. For a short period of time, we did keep drinking it, not knowing that it was so bad for us, and then when the smell got so bad and we noticed the water was discolored and it, it started to, you don't, you don't even want to put your children in the bathtub when it's that bad. We've heard so many stories just like that. this one. Uh, this is the first individual non-class action lawsuit that has been filed. We've seen attorneys from Detroit, from New York, L.A., all making their way to Flint, and they have been working to bring together hundreds of victims filing class action lawsuits. But again, this is the first individual suit of its kind. Yeah. Now, we saw the mother holding another child. What about yeah. that child? Has they said the that child been tested? They said they're waiting right now, a little bit too young. They want to give her a few more months and then test the exposure. Mm. So kind of a wait-and-see approach with that child. But no symptoms yet from the younger mm. child, just the older child. But this feels like the experience it. that each family is uh, having to go through, some of them with good results, some of them with not yeah. as good a results. Thousands yeah. of families. Thousands, yeah. yeah. Right. We just don't know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Hank.